For this first painting, you're going to need two colors. I'm using white and black, white for the background, and black for the geometric pattern. Okay, so I've gone ahead and painted my background white. Now I'm going to be using a smaller paintbrush and my black paint, and I'm going to be just draping a little bit of that black paint diagonally across my canvas. Then I'm going to be taking my paintbrush and just spreading that out, creating one main line. And then I'm going to be creating other lines that come off of that one main line. You're kind of making like a loose spider web and then thickening up those lines, adding some geometric shapes to them. The goal of this painting is to just be free and do what you want to do, but also it's going to look a lot better if you thicken up those lines so that you don't see a lot of the background color. You want to leave some triangles and diamonds and kind of weird shapes in there but you'll see the more black that's added the better this piece ends up looking it's super easy and it'll probably only take you like 10 minutes to complete uh, so there we go that's the first abstract painting done okay so I used a lot of different colors for um, this painting you can just go ahead and use any colors that you want whatever goes with your space or whatever is gonna bring you joy so again, this is all about having fun. You don't have to copy me. You can do whatever you want, but you can use mine for inspiration. Basically, this first step is just creating a bunch of different shapes and lines. So I'm creating some blobs, some circles, and some lines. Um, just some geometric shapes, but also mixed with some um, very natural and organic kind of shapes as well. to do when I'm creating abstracts is to add these little um, polka dots basically just using the end of my paintbrush there um, as my way of creating circles that aren't so tight and organized they're a little bit looser and you'll see that the polka dots kind of um, go on to one other shape and then onto the canvas allow things to overlap that gives it kind of a free feeling and it's a lot more whimsical and fun don't be afraid to put polka dots on top of polka dots, lines on top of lines, overlap your shapes. Also, um, adding a gold paint here is something that can be really fun. Some kind of metallic paint will really make um, any kind of abstract painting stick out, but you have to make sure that you get the right ones. Sometimes gold paints or silver paints can be really liquidy and you need like a hundred coats of them. Uh, for them to even show up. So that's why I was showing you kind of a close-up. You can tell the difference when you look at the paint that this is a thicker version and it only takes like two coats um, for it to actually look like the color gold. added a few finishing touches here and we are finished abstract painting number two. 
Okay, so on to painting number three. I'm going to be using a palette knife and one paintbrush here just to um, cover the background. I'm using some of the paint colors that I already have out here, mixing some pink with some green. Unfortunately, I turned a little bit brown, but it doesn't really matter. Then I'm adding in some white as well and just mixing all of these colors while they're wet together to form kind of an interesting background. It's sometimes a little bit better to do that rather than just painting one color. Um, especially in an abstract, it can be kind of fun. And then I'm going to be using my palette knife. And what we're going to be creating is um, a vase, a long, tall, skinny vase, and some abstract flowers coming out. Of So I'm going to be using a dark green and using the very tip and edge of my palette knife I'm going to be creating some lines that are curving down, some that are going straight up. This is our greenery. I'm also going to be using that lighter green and going in on top of that to create some dimensions, some shadows, some highlights. Um, it really can make a difference, just this little step. Then I'm going to be using some red paint and making some little roses or peonies or whatever they are and then I'm going to be um, just making like a half moon shape with the very tip of my palette knife and then going in with some white as well um, again for some shadow and some highlights the trick to this painting though that I think really makes it is using this gold paint and I'm just adding that into kind of all the cracks of where the flowers and the leaves don't touch um, and then adding some to the bottom as well and we are basically finished our third abstract painting. If you guys stuck with me through this whole video, thank you so much. If you recreate one of these, please um, share it on Instagram, tag me, I would love to see it. Um, as always, you can like, comment, and subscribe. And I think that I'm going to post um, two of these on my website. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. Um, they'll be up for purchase very soon, probably by the time this video goes up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.